What are the essential details? Okay. Firstly, loan amount. Okay, so three hundred and sixty thousand borrowed. Boy, that's a lot of money. Actually, not that much compared to some mortgages out there at the moment. Now, just keep in mind, the obvious things are the numbers, but not everything that's vital in this question is numerical, at least spoken numerical, written numerical. Month, equal month. Good, so equal monthly repayments. So I'm going to say M dollars monthly repayments. And critically, they're really nice to you. They say it's at the end of each month. That's kind of code for you to say, Interest is going to be applied, as you'll see in a second, and then the payment comes later. Okay? Even when this is not stated, the bank will always sneak in interest before you pay. Because if they calculate the interest before you pay, that means they get to add on more interest, so they make more off you. And you'll say, doesn't matter, I'll just pay a day earlier. And they'll say, we'll just do the interest a day earlier. So the bank always wins. Okay? So monthly repayments, and I'm going to say end of month. Just as a signal to myself. Okay? Um, the length of the loan, 25 years, which is 300 months. Why do they think, why do you think they give us the number of months? Because of the payment of To help you remember, and it's a classic um, error that students make, when they do not include the number of months, people say, oh yeah, equal monthly payments, and then they just say it's 25. And they have to pay off like $30,000 every month. You think, what went wrong? <laughs> okay. Reducible interest, reducible interest. All that means is you've got your big sum of money, and if you pay off some of it, when they calculate the interest, it won't be on the original sum, it'll be on whatever's left. Okay, so it reduces each time. 6% per annum interest. Now, while I'm at it, and this is just an optional thing, but you can see, even though the interest is per annum, the number is per annum, they actually calculate it 12 times a year. 12 times a year. So therefore, with this, at the same time, while it's still in my head, while I write a per annum interest rate, I'm going to write a per month interest rate. What does that add up to per month? That's half a percent. Yeah. yeah. So zero point five percent per month. Okay. Great. We're ready, right? Let A and B the amount owing after the nth repayment. So A1 is after I've been paid once, A2 after I've been paid twice, etc. Part 1, write down an expression, and there's just one mark for it, for the amount owing after the second month. Okay? Now I'm going to begin right from scratch. The reason why is this comes under series of sequences. In a minute we're going to have a geometric progression appear, and when you're doing a series, how many terms in a series do you need before you have a pattern? Three. The answer is three, right? Because if I say one, then two, if it's an AP, the next term would be? If it's an AP, three. the next term would be? Three. Three, right? But if it's a GP, the next term will be? Four. Four. So you really need that third term to really demonstrate what's going on. So we're going to do, they give you a whole mark just to do the first two. Okay. So A1, how does it begin? Well. You can see you start with this amount, and then you have to get to a repayment, right? What happens before the repayment? Remember? Interest. Interest. Okay, so we start with our 360000 and then I'm going to multiply by an amount that includes the original 360000 plus the interest. So it's going to be one point, one point what? Zero five. Okay, now zero five was the most common error for the HSC when this question was done. Because okay? 1.05 sure looks like a pretty standard interest rate to me, right? It just happens to be wrong. What is the interest rate? Zero, zero, zero. It's zero, zero, 0.05, right? Because it's 0.5 of a percent. 0.5 of a percent. Oh. So it is, in fact, 1.005, right? Common error to make. There's the first application of interest. But before I call this A1, there has to be A repayment, right? This is A, A1 is the amount owing after the first repayment. Did you say before one, there's two? Anyway, okay. So therefore, I have to take away a repayment. I don't know what the size of the repayment is. It's just designated there. So far, so good? Okay. So now we're ready to see what happens in the next month, right? They're going to, there's going to be, now, here's the two, now there's going to be the second repayment, but before the repayment there's always interest, right? So it's this amount, A1, 
and then they apply interest to it, right? They do this 1.005 again, and then there is a repayment, okay? Now that's not really the expression they're looking for, they want us to expand that out. So you can see every term up here is gonna get another 1.005 added on. So I'm gonna get this. That's got two lots of interest applied to it. This has one interest, and there's the most recent repayment. Does that make sense? Whoa, wait. Can you explain the M bit? Yeah, sure. Okay, you mean this bit or this bit? No, this, this yeah. one here? Okay, yeah. so uh, let's point out a couple of things. Firstly, all that's happening year, sorry, month to month to month is interest repayment. Interest repayment. So here, this is whatever is left at the end of that first month. It gets interest applied. So that amount there, it's going to be color. That amount there gets an extra lot of interest applied to it, right? And then, this will do. This guy here, the first repayment, it also gets an interest applied to it, okay? If you want to think about it this way, you've got this original $360,000, right? And after 300 months, it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow. And I hope that writing this out shows you it grows independently. By the end of this, I will have 300 repayments sitting on the other side of the ledger, also growing, and they're eventually gonna grow up and gonna cancel each other out. And that's when there's nothing left owing anymore. Does that make sense? Okay, that's A2. There's your first month. You're welcome. That wasn't so difficult, okay? And this step-by-step -step is really important. Now we're ready to go to part two.